I'm using this comment to say my piece on this matter because I've had a lot of people comment about that. When you're like 13 and 14 and getting into high school, you're like, no one's ever gonna love me. I'm so ugly and hideous. And then guess what? That's not even true. That I saw, I thought the same thing. And clearly I had three like pretty long-term relationships. So that didn't happen. But I will say, take it from an older woman because I'm 23 and on death's door, stay single. Like having a boyfriend's not all that. I've been single for a year and a half because honestly, I got dumped for the first time like on that last boyfriend and it fucking broke me. Like I was broken for like nine months over it and it was ridiculous. And I feel like had I not always had a boyfriend, I would have been okay. But because I had always had a boyfriend, I never learned how to socialize on my own and talk to like guys as, as an adult. So just take my advice from Aunt Becca. Dump him, sis. You don't need him. This woman? is never going to be happy with any man in the future because she's already peaked. She was already with a high quality guy, but he dumped her and he left her heartbroken nine months to try and recover from him. She's what the internet refers to as an alpha widow. That's not my phrase. I don't like to use the words alpha and beta on my channel, but regardless, that's what the internet calls it. But my issues with the label aside, it is absolutely a real thing. A woman who has been with a man so high quality that no man afterwards is ever going to be able to measure up. And so she's perpetually miserable. She's miserable in her relationships and she makes sure that any man she's in a relationship with is also miserable. Do I have compassion for her? A little bit, but it's sort of her fault. Women who end up this way really only have themselves to blame. And I think it is disgraceful how they treat men. I'm going to explain how this happens. But first, I want to tell you that I have partnered up with Yours app, which I'm very excited about because what they're trying to achieve is totally in line with my own goals for this channel. I love these guys. I'm very excited by this partnership. And they're going to give my audience a 60% discount when they use my link or use code GRACE. But more on that in a second. What is Yours app? It is the fastest growing self-care and mindfulness app on the market. It has got everything that you need all in one place. When you're trying to go to sleep, you can put on one of these stories that they've got. It's set to soothing music and it's really uplifting. It puts you in a good mood while you drift off. They've got psychology talks. They've got guided meditations. They've got hundreds of hours of yoga instruction. They've got this huge library of like really pleasant ambient music. That's probably the feature I'm enjoying the most at the moment. Like while I was writing this script, I had my app playing their music on in the background. Awesome. You want to be an impressive guy and attract those top quality women, then you know it's going to be about more than just your wallet and your looks. You also have to have an impressive personality. You got to be chilled out because that's what masculinity is meant to be. Relaxed, confident. Women will be attracted to your inner peace. We've got to take advantage of this incredible technology that exists right now. Smartphones don't have to make you more stressed. This app will de-stress you. And it's so convenient. No longer opening different tabs and scrolling through things to try and find, you know, something on YouTube or something on this web page. It's all just in one app. Trust me, if you take this stuff seriously, you're going to want this app. You don't want to be listening to ads in the middle of your guided meditation. I use this app. I love it. And like I mentioned, because they partnered with me, they're giving my audience a 60% discount. Just click the link in the description box below or use code GRACE on checkout. 60%. Crazy affordable. So remember to check out your zap. Okay, let's get back to this lady. Why is she miserable? Why is she telling other women to stay single? Well, it's because she dated a top quality man and she knows that she's peace. She knows that her romantic life is only downhill from here. Women are not wired to cope with decreasing quality. They expect everything to always be getting better for them. Chris Rock, the comedian, had this funny bit back in the day about how women cannot go backwards in lifestyle. Like the first time that she doesn't have to take the bus into the city because she's dating a man who's got his own car. She's like, right, this is nice. I can get used to this. From now on, I only date men with cars. Or she dates a guy who's no longer living with his parents. He's got his own apartment. She's like, right, this is it now. I'm a woman who now dates men who have their own apartments. The same principle exists when it comes to the quality of men that she's dating. Like if she dates a guy up here in terms of quality, that is now the new baseline. All future men are going to be compared to him. If she comes across a man, you know, in this part of the spectrum, who's less impressive than that guy, she's not interested. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you already know what I'm going to say. You can see the massive flaw in their logic. You can see the problem with this because... So many women have been with a guy of that quality. You know, they've slept with him, but that's it. It was just casual. She was able to attract his attention by being, you know, a casual hookup, but he never wanted a long-term relationship with her. The guy was just having fun, you know, sleeping around, enjoying his status. He wasn't thinking that you'd be the mother of his future children. He wasn't thinking that you'd be his partner for the next 60 years. 
the next 60 minutes, perhaps. Like, are you aware of how many women those massive celebrities like rock stars have slept with? Like Gene Simmons. Do you know who Gene Simmons is? The lead singer of the rock band Kiss? I've heard that he slept with 4,800 women. It makes sense, right? Like a guy in his position, you know, he's got access to random groupies and fans or whatever. I'm not speaking to the quality of the women that he's sleeping with, but in its heyday, Kiss was huge. And so he was a massive rock star. It was a big deal. Definitely one of the men you'd consider to be at like the top of the pyramid. But when I hear that, in addition to thinking about what that life experience must be like for him to have that kind of, you know, crazy sexual abundance, I can't help but wonder about all of those women, all those 4,800 women in what they did with their life after sleeping with him. Because I imagine their experience sleeping with him was probably their peak. Like he's probably the top guy, the top status guy that they'll ever be with. After that, it's by necessity going to be downhill. How depressing for them. And it's not just Gene Simmons. He's not an outlier. So many male celebrities are like this. They reach the top of the hierarchy and then they enjoy themselves. They sleep around. There are so many hundreds of thousands of women out there who have been the casual hookup of some top status guy, some male celebrity. And I wonder, where are those women now? I actually think that it's really sad to think about. You know, she's probably leading some depressing suburban lifestyle with some guy who doesn't make her happy, you know, because he couldn't possibly compare to the man that she slept with at her peak. He doesn't excite her. And so she probably resents him. And this is why my advice is men do not date an alpha widow because they will be miserable and they will think that it's your fault. It's not their own choices that are to blame for the circumstances they find themselves in. The fact that you aren't a famous celebrity who excites her that much anymore, that's your fault. Who would want to be with a woman like that? Like, what guy would be actually satisfied being the choice that a woman makes after she has to settle because she's no longer young and pretty and she can't get that top quality guy anymore? And so she compromises. She settles for you. Yippee, what a victory. Who wants to be that guy? Chris Rock actually had another bit on this about why women are never happy in relationships. It's because the men that they're with are not their first choice. His setup was so funny. He was like, you ever catch a woman just looking at you, you know, just staring and you know what she's thinking like, God, how did I end up with this ugly loser? You know, <laughs> I had that great guy and I blew it. That's what this woman is going through. You know, she had this top quality guy. She was happy but she blew it in some way. He dumped her and she's miserable because he's the new baseline. He's what she feels like she deserves, you know, but how likely is it that another guy of that quality is going to come along and rescue her from this misery that she's self-inflicted? It's not that likely to happen because every year she gets older, she gets less attractive. And here's the real kicker. She gets more bitter at a world that she feels is unjustly denying her happiness. And bitterness is a really unattractive trait on women. Let's do this thing. Let's get married. Let's have children like you're my forever man. That's what you want. Those are the best, most ideal circumstances. Maybe she's dated a couple of guys before you, but they were unimpressive men. You know, the relationships were terrible. But when you come along, you just stand out as so spectacular, so much better than all the other guys that she's like, oh my God, of course I would settle down with this guy. I would be lucky to be with a man of this quality. That's what you want her to feel. That is the recipe for happiness, for loyalty, for long-term commitment, for pair bonding. If you want more information on that, you've got to check out my video on why women need to use their early 20s to find their long-term partner. Really interesting video. Because if she passes that time in her life and she dates these top quality guys, but she doesn't lock them into a relationship, she just keeps on dating, She's in for a really rough ride. Life is not going to be kind to her and it's really not going to be kind to the men that she's dating. And so there's probably some guys watching this video who are getting a little bit concerned like, oh dear, am I one of those guys? Am I dating an alpha widow? Well, watch for these signs. Is she still in contact with any of her ex-boyfriends? Does she follow men that she's hooked up with on social media? That's a dangerous one. If you catch your girlfriend, she's got this habit of just constantly following all these other men on social media, and it just seems like she can't help herself. That's a big red flag. It's especially concerning if she's bringing them up a lot, like she can't seem to help it. She's constantly talking about them, discussing them, speculating on what their life is like, because... 
What's happening in those circumstances is she is imagining herself to be a part of his life. She's regretting not settling down with him. And so she follows him on social media. She checks up on him because she's fueling this fantasy that she has of what her life could have been had she settled down with him. I mean, maybe she could have had it. <laughs> That's her assumption. But from what I've seen, women vastly overestimate the pull that they had in these casual relationships. Like she thinks, oh, if only I'd done things differently, I could have settled down with this man. And it's like, well, I don't know, maybe, but <laughs> I don't know. Women don't seem to be aware of just how different you know, the qualities are that men actually appreciate and what they'll tolerate when it comes to a casual sex partner, as opposed to a long-term relationship partner. I've said it many times on this channel, but just because a man is willing to sleep with you does not mean that he's going to settle down with you. And so for women who hooked up with like a really high quality guy and they're thinking, oh, I could have been his wife. We could have been so happy together. It's like, calm down. <laughs> no, probably not. You would just you know, some casual fun for him. That's all that was. So gentlemen, if you're dating a woman who's got an extensive relationship history or she's dated lots of guys in the past or she's hooked up with like really high quality guys and you don't understand why in your relationship you're constantly arguing, why she's constantly frustrated with you, why you, you know, you, you feel like you're a disappointment to her, this could be it. Deep down, she resents you because you weren't her first choice. She had to settle for you, which is why you're feeling uneasy. And that's not what you're meant to be feeling. You got to check out my Patreon video. What emotions am I meant to be feeling in a relationship? That was one of my most popular videos I've ever done. But the fact that this relationship isn't working with this alpha widow, that's not your fault. It was doomed from the start. Her mind was elsewhere. It was still with that other guy. And so no pair bonding was actually possible. And here's the most depressing part. <laughs> Trigger warning, if you don't want to be depressed, click out of the video now. If you watch this next part, I take no responsibility for your emotional reaction here because this truth is a dark one. She's not going to be happy with you. She's not going to commit to you because fundamentally your relationship, her being with you is running counter to her self-esteem. She can either enjoy the relationship or she can feel good about herself, but not both. Here's why. If she commits to you, the man she had to settle with, then by committing to you and being happy with that arrangement, she is de facto acknowledging that that's what her worth is, that you are what she deserves. And if she wants to hold on to an image of herself as a really high quality woman who could have had that high quality guy, then why would she admit that? Why would she ever commit to this relationship with you? That's going to act in direct opposition to her own ego, to her own self-esteem. And so she holds on to the past. She keeps alive this fantasy delusion that she could have had this top quality guy because at least in her imagination she can imagine herself to also be that high quality she can live off that delusional self-esteem that's the quality of man that i should have been with that's who i truly deserved and it's only tragic circumstances that have left me with this loser who i've had to settle for that's pretty depressing but i, I just think it's better to know this stuff it's better to actually be aware of what's going on because if you're with a woman who fundamentally cannot be happy with you because of the choices she made before she met you, it's better to know that now so you don't waste any more of your time. Have you ever noticed that where you're living, like the kind of lifestyle you're living, what kind of house or apartment you're in, that matters a lot to the women that you're dating. But the other way around, like a man doesn't actually care that much about what a woman's living circumstances are. In my latest Patreon video, I go into a lot of depth about why that is. What are the competing evolutionary instincts, as well as some important exceptions. If you want access to that video, then go and sign up on my Patreon. It's just a $5 a month subscription. You get instant access to that video, plus every other video in my back catalog crazy good value. We have a great community over there. It's a great way to support the creator. I'd love to see you over there so that you can be a part of it.